Hello again, folks. Um, today I'll be talking about the uh, 3DR telemetry radio for the um, APM 2.5 uh, flight controller. Now, uh, what this uh, telemetry uh, radio set does is that it allows you to wirelessly uh, connect to your flight controller with a laptop, with an Android phone, or with a tablet. And uh, when you wirelessly connect, you can both uh, configure it, set up some parameters. You can also um, send it to do uh, automatic uh, waypoint missions wirelessly. You can also receive um, data from your flight controller about your speed, your GPS location and uh, so forth. Um, another very smart thing with the system is that you can also um, instruct your flight controller to uh, follow you. Uh, that means um, when you click on the follow me um, function you just walk around and the craft will fly and hoover above uh, you uh, at the predetermined height. Now um, with that short explanation of what telemetry this telemetry set is, I'd like to point out that there are two uh, frequencies used in the uh, in the system. Depending on which part of the world you live, here in Europe where I live, um, the uh, 900 uh, megahertz series is not allowed uh, for private use. It's used by the GSM mobile networks. They paid a lot of money to buy those uh, wave bands, so it's not allowed by law to use it. Uh, here we use the uh, 400 uh, uh, um, megahertz bandwidth, and I know in places like the US and Australia, uh, the 400 uh, megaband. Uh, megahertz bandwidth is uh, not legal and instead the 900 uh, megahertz bandwidth is legal so you have to uh, check your local um, uh, uh, laws depending on what part of the world you live and that's very important like I said this is the 400 uh, megahertz bandwidth systems I have two I have one here from uh, the company 3DR, the original company that makes um, APM 2.5 and I have another set that I bought on eBay. I'd like to point out at th that these two sets the same frequencies and they actually communicate with one another. That means I can use the one radio to talk to th that and I can use that to talk to that. Whichever combination you use they actually speak to one another. That's important to know. Uh, the two radios, even though uh, radio sets, even though they're from different suppliers, uh, they come with slight uh, structural differences. As you can see, this uh, USB uh, connector in one part of the radio that goes to your laptop or whatever you want to use as your ground station has uh, its own USB socket directly uh, connected to the board. The other one comes with a cord and the USB uh, end is there. Uh, both have their advantages and disadvantages. I tend to prefer the longer wire because it will um, help me be a little bit more flexible. And then uh, the other radio in both sets are yeah, virtually very very similar. All you have to do is to put in the uh, 5 pin uh, connector in there and um, everything should should work. Sorry, 6-pin connector and everything should work. Something very important though I'd like to point out is this cable. This simplifies your connection a great deal. You don't have to worry uh, about any wrong connections because it's uh, already prefabricated to fit only one way into your APM module. And if you buy the original uh, 3DR APM module, it is supplied with this cable. Uh, the clones you buy on uh, eBay, uh, they don't come with this cable as far as I know. But this comes with the original APM, which is an advantage because this just plugs into the top of your APM um, uh, flight controller where it's labeled uh, Tele, short for telemetry. And this part with the color codes goes into these 
pins now this is very properly labeled I hope I can focus it there so it's easy to connect all you have to make sure is that the ground the black ground is on the ground and the red 5 volts is on the red 5 volts then everything just fits where it should be now uh, pay no attention to this uh, double sided tape I, uh, I put it because I was preparing it to mount it on my craft I've also um, put it in uh, heat shrink like you can already see and this is all in preparation for mounting it I used the transparent heat shrink to um, make sure I can see the indicator lights when it comes on and this also has indicator lights too but um, I haven't heat shrinked it yet because um, I haven't really decided what craft this will go on now um, see my next video on how to physically mount it on the craft and how it um, the radio uh, telemetry uh, system works thank you for watching